One championship fire and fury at the Mall of Asia Arena in Manila was a night of electrifying martial arts action. Michael Chevello, Mitch Chilson with you. Mitch, it kicked off with a man they call Thunder Kid. The latest sensation out of Team Lakai in Baguio City, the Philippines. And the Thunder Kid brought the thunder. He brought the lightning. He brought the hail. He brought all the elements against Ponsori Mitsitsit and gave us the round of the night. Yeah, Lito Adiwan applied the heat and melted his opponent. He is just going from strength to strength. Really a great addition to our already packed strawweight division. And how about Kwon Won Il versus Shoko Sato? Both men came in with tremendous knockout records. Shoko Sato came in on a five match winning streak, all by knockout. But tonight, he found a way to slap on a rear naked choke to finish the pretty boy inside of one. Yeah, it was a beautiful performance, and it just goes to show you exactly how experienced Sato is. He's over a 50-match veteran, and that is experience that you just cannot buy. He had a perfect game plan and executed it flawlessly. Speaking of veterans, in our co-main event, Former world lightweight champion Edward Falayang took on the Tower of Power from the Netherlands, Peter Bausch. Bausch the Muay Thai and kickboxing stylist, Edward Falayang a Wushu stylist, and they gave us a great back and forth battle. Peter Baust is a sensational Dutch style kickboxer and he really showed us all the different dimensions of his game. Not to mention he came into this contest on short notice and he was able to really put on a great display of that Dutch style kickboxing. Those head kicks and the way that he was able to wobble Foliang in the third was truly something special. And with that win over Foliang, Peter Baust sends a message to world champion Christian Lee that is gunning for the Warrior in 2020. Then the main event was one for the ages, for the World Strawweight Championship. 24-year-old world champion Joshua Pascio against 37-year-old former world champion Alex Silva. This one, Dragon, had it all. There's been so much talk about the grappling of Team Lakai and how they cannot keep up with world-class grapplers. But Joshua Pascio was able to avoid the dangerous side of the blade and put himself in a lot of bad spots and tough it out. He is growing by leaps and bounds, and the year of 2020 could very well be the year of Joshua Pascio. Joshua Pascio continues to set records here in one championship. You've got to wonder what is next for the rampaging, all-victorious world champion. Folks, join us again next Friday night. We're live from Jakarta, Indonesia, when Pep Morgot takes on De Threat for the one Super Series for the Weight Muay Thai World Championship. And then two world titles on the line on February 28th when we return to Singapore for more great one championship action. Hey guys, it's Misha Tay. If you want to see more awesome One Championship content, make sure you click that subscribe button. Click it so you don't miss it.